Yeah, good morning. You know, districts have been working on their plans for some time, but there's still a lot up in the air. It's really going to depend on what's going on with the virus in our state. Now, for example, in Tacoma, they've got one plan that involves full time online learning with a certified teacher, keeping the kids at home. A second approach would be a sort of hybrid. The youngest students uh, kindergarten through second grade would be on campus for up to four days a week, while older kids would likely go about two days a week and do the rest of their learning online at home. Now, the school board could approve that plan later this month, although things could change based on what happens with the coronavirus numbers in our state. Of course, there's mixed opinions from parents. I think it's pretty important for people to socialize and get back together again and just remember that there's always uh, um, hazards out there, you know, and, and, and risk of hurting not just ourselves but others. It's not safe in my case for her to go. She could bring it back to me. And there's still a lot of questions about whether or not different teachers unions will want their members to go back into the classroom, whether teachers will be willing to return to the classroom. Uh, so far, there is no requirement from the governor that school has to happen in person. So it is feasible that students could return to online only classes. Once again, the governor and the state superintendent will be meeting later today to discuss all of this. We're live in Bothell. Amy Marino, King 5 News. You just hope there's some kind of in-person learning safely. All right, thanks, Amy. Well, school's obviously very important to our function of a society as a whole. I spoke with Dr. Ali Mokdad at the University of Washington about all this. He says when in-person classes were canceled in April, researchers saw a huge drop in mobility in our region, which helped us slow the spread of the virus. He says if classes resume this fall, it's important to remember they can be canceled at a moment's notice. We have to take it step by step. So we have to open when the conditions allow us to open and we have in place the capacity to do so. One, the, the physical separation in the school. If we have it, we can open. But at the same time, we have to keep an eye on the virus, how it's circulating, and we have to be ready to dial back if we see the conditions are getting much worse. And Dr. Mokdad also says if there is any in-person learning, masks should definitely be required for everyone, maybe.